Welcome to the Creative Pugza. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create Y2K logos in Affinity Photo. Some things to note about the aesthetics of Y2K logos is that they have bright colors like blues and pinks, or pastel or neon colors. Also, the fonts are sometimes thick and chunky. Some are even italicized and have a 3D look to them. Furthermore, Y2K logos have common shapes that are used, such as sparkles, halos, stars, wireframe globes, etc. First, go to File New. The artboard size doesn't matter. I'm setting this to 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. Check the Create Artboard box. Go to the Margins tab and click off the Include Margins if it's checked. Then click Create. Grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Take the tool and click on the artboard. Then type the word or phrase you want to use. I'll type outer. With the text layer selected, press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the text layer beneath the original one and type space. Now grab the Move tool. Select the text layers. Go to the font family and select the Bubblicious font you downloaded earlier. With the text layer selected, go to the Swatches panel. Double click on the fill color and type the following hex code number 66DDF5. After that, go to the Swatches panel and double click on the stroke color. Type the following hex code number EC66F5. Select the text layers. Next, press Ctrl and Enter to convert the text layers to curves. In the Layers panel, label the bottom group outer and label the top group space or whatever your text is. Now, select the first group if you have more than one. Go to the Stroke panel. Set the width to 7 points. After that, set the cap to square cap, the join to miter join, and the align to align stroke to outside. Then check the scale with object box and make sure the order is draw stroke in front. This next step is if you have more than one group. With the text layer still selected, double click on the first letter in the group. Next, press Ctrl and C to copy the style that's used on the words, such as the stroke that we added to the text. Now, select the other group. Press Ctrl, Shift, and G to ungroup the group. Then, press Ctrl, Shift, and V to paste the stroke style onto these letters. After that, press Ctrl and G to group these letters together again. In the Layers panel, name the group Space, or whatever your text is. I'm going to arrange the outer group layer so that the E lines up with the E in the word space. Now let's create some of the Y2K shapes for this logo. The first shape we'll create is the halo. Go to the Tools panel and select the Ellipse tool. In the Swatches panel, make sure the stroke color is turned off. Now draw an ellipse. Then draw a smaller ellipse onto the original one. With the smaller ellipse selected, grab the top part in the middle and drag it up some. Next, grab the bottom part in the middle and drag it up slightly. Grab the Move tool and select both of the ellipses. Then go to the Boolean Operations panel and select Subtract. In the Layers panel, select the Halo layer and drag it down to the bottom of the layer list. If you can't get it to the bottom, go up top here and select Move to Back. Make sure the layer is still inside the artboard and label the layer Halo. Now grab the Move tool. Take the tool and rotate the halo to the left about 41 degrees. Then press and hold Shift and make the halo slightly larger. Place it where you see it on the screen. In the Swatches panel, double click the fill color and set the color of the halo to the pink hex code color we used earlier, which is EC66F5. Next, we'll create the next shape, which is a sparkle. Go to the Tools panel. Now, go to the Shapes and select the Double Star tool. Press Ctrl and Shift and draw a star. After that, go to the Context toolbar. Set the points to 4, inner radius to 35%, and the point radius to 25%. With the sparkle shape selected, press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the shape to the right side and make it smaller. Press Ctrl and Shift while doing this. Then press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the duplicated sparkle beneath the space of the bigger sparkle on the right side where you see it on the screen. 
Then select all three sparkles and press Ctrl and G to group the sparkles together. Label the group sparkles. Once you've done that, select the group and press Ctrl and J to duplicate the group. Take the duplicated group and place it on the top left of the text group. Then right click on the group. Go down to Transform and select Flip Horizontal. This part is optional, but now we'll add a 3D looking element to this design. Select the first text group. Now go to the Layers panel and select Layers Effect. Select 3D and check the box. Click on the Lock Aspect icon to unlock it. Next, set the radius to 7 pixels and the depth to 5 pixels. Set the Soften to 2 pixels and set the Opacity to 75%. Go to the Specular and set it to 60%. After that, go down to the Direction section. Select Color. Click RGB hex sliders, then enter the following hex code number. C2FFF8. Check the scale with object box. This next step is if you have more than one group of text. Select the second text group. Press Ctrl, Shift, and G to ungroup this. Now click on the first group and press Ctrl and C. This will copy the layer effect we just added to the text group. Next, take the Move tool and select the letters from the other text group. Then go to the edit menu at the top and select paste FX. Press Ctrl and G to group these letters and in the layers panel label the group space. Now we'll add a 3D look to the halo and the sparkles. Select the halo. Now go to the layers panel and select the FX icon. Select 3D and check the box. Set the radius to eight pixels and check the scale with object box. With the halo still selected, press Ctrl and C to copy the layer effects. Now grab the Move tool and select the pink sparkles. Go to the Edit menu and select Paste FX. Then select the blue sparkles. Next, go to the Edit menu and select Paste FX. Select the whole design. Then press Ctrl and G to group all the elements together. Now, let's create a second type of Y2K logo design look. Go to the Tools panel and grab the Artboard tool. Take the tool and draw an artboard next to the original one. The size doesn't matter. We'll create the shapes first. The first shape we'll create is the wireframe globe. Grab the Ellipse tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Transform panel and turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio. Press Ctrl and Shift then take the ellipse and draw a circle. Get rid of the fill color. Press Shift and X to switch the fill color to the stroke color. Next, go to the Stroke panel and set the width of the stroke to 7 points. Then go to the Swatches panel. Double click on the stroke and set it to the following hex code number. 66F579. With the circle selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate it. Press the Ctrl key and drag the sides of the circle in some. Then press Ctrl and J two more times. You should have a total of four circles. Press and hold the Ctrl key. Then grab the sides of the ellipses individually and adjust them the way you see them on the screen. After that, grab the Move tool. Select all of the ellipses and press Ctrl and J. Take the Move tool and place it at the top handle of the duplicated ellipse. Then press the Shift key and rotate the duplicated ellipses 90 degrees to the left. Select all the ellipses and press Ctrl and G to group them together. Name the group Globe. We'll now create another popular shape that's used for Y2K logos, and that's the double stars, where one star is inside the other. I'm just going to move the globe over here. In the Tools panel, grab the Star tool. Press Ctrl and Shift and draw a star. Press Shift and X to switch the stroke color to the fill color. Now double click on the fill color and set the star's color to the following hex code number. 3458F2. With the star still selected and the star tool still active, place the cursor at the top of the star where the red point is. When you get the double arrows, drag the point down slightly to round the points of the star instead of having them at sharp points. Now grab the move tool. With the star selected, press Ctrl and J to make a duplicate of the star. Take the Move tool and make it slightly bigger by pressing Ctrl and Shift. In the Layers panel, place the duplicated star layer below the original one. 
Then select both stars. Press Ctrl and G to group them together and label the group stars. Now we'll add some text and then we'll put all these elements together. Grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Click and drag on the document. Then type your text. I'm going to type Dream. Now select the text. Go to the font family and set the text to the Planet Cosmos font you downloaded earlier. In the Swatches panel, get rid of the stroke color. Then double click on the fill color and set the color of the text to the following hex code number. 3458F2. With the text selected, press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the text below the original one. Type Corp. Now let's put all these elements together and add some layer effects to them. Grab the globe group. Place it in the center of the artboard. Then go to the Layers panel and select the FX Layers Effect icon. Now select 3D and check the box. Set the radius to 7 pixels. Also check the Scale with Object box. Grab the first text layer. Take the Move tool and make the text slightly smaller. Place the text on the globe where you see it on the screen. After that, grab the second text layer. Make it smaller too and place it on the globe where you see it on the screen. Next, grab the stars and place them on the globe the way you see them on the screen. With the star still selected, press Ctrl and J to copy the stars, then place the duplicated stars where you see them on the screen. Double click on the globe group on the outer ellipse. This should select the very first ellipse we created. Go to the swatches panel and double click the fill color. Set the fill of the ellipse to the following hex code number. 141111. Once you've done that, select the first text layer. Go to the layers panel and select the FX icon. Select 3D and check the box. Set the radius to 3 pixels. Check the scale with object box. Next, select outline and check the box. Set the radius to 10 pixels. Go to color. In the RGB sliders, slide the R, the G, and the B all the way to the right to set the color to white. With the text still selected, press Ctrl and C to copy the layer effects. Then select the second text layer. Go to the edit menu and select paste FX. In the layers panel, click the FX that's on the second text layer to open the layer effects. Go to 3D and change the radius to 3 pixels. Now double click on the star group at the top and select the outline star. In the swatches panel, set the fill color to white and get rid of the stroke color. Do the same for the other star group. Next, select the globe group. Press Ctrl and C to copy the 3D effect on this group. Then select the star group at the top. Go to the edit menu and select paste FX. After that, select the second star group. Next, go to the edit menu and select paste FX. Once you've done that, select all the elements and press Ctrl and G to group everything together. And this is how to create Y2K logos in Affinity Designer. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the bell icon to be notified on new videos and tutorials once they're posted.